this is uh, Sonia from Sonia's Mixed Media. I'm back here today with a very ultra cute colouring book here. This is called Happy Hoppers, which if you are into adorable, cute bunny rabbits doing cute little things, this is the book for you. Um, this is a Happy Hoppers colouring book. And I believe this comes in like a series of three. Uh, this is the uh, bunny rabbit one. I believe there's also one with little cute mice in it. Or there's also like a cute uh, teddy bear uh, one as well in the series. But I chose the bunny rabbits because I just have a special place in my heart for cute little bunnies. And this is... It says it's colouring fun for kids of all ages, so I really like that because, um, yes, they are very uh, simple that children could colour them, um, but also they're just so adorably cute that I, um, I think that a lot of us adults would want to colour them as well. Uh, so I bought this on Book Depository and it wasn't that expensive at all. Um, I'm trying to think back. I think it was under $10. Don't quote me on that, but it was quite cheap. And of course, they've got the free um, shipping as well. Um, you could perhaps find it on Amazon as well. I'm not quite sure, um, but that's where I found this book was a Book Depository. Now, the first page has got about the um, artist um, and how she started the designs. And then we get straight into it. Uh, so it says, meet the happy hoppers. And there's Itty Bit, Hop It and Bumble. Is, uh, Bumble is the brown, um, brown and a little bit bubbly. Hop It is very happy-go-lucky and Itty Bit bit is tan and the smallest of rabbits so it's got a few different little characters in here but they are all exceptionally cute this is the first image which is Bumble's bubbly bath and this is just adorable uh, they are single-sided images and it's on quite thin paper kind of like uh, your photocopy type paper but um, don't be put back by that because you can al always uh, photocopy them onto better paper if you have it. Um, this paper doesn't phase me at all. Uh, coloured pencils are fine on them. Uh, just probably don't use markers or watercolour paint or anything like that. But your prismas and your polychromos just go on this paper, paper with no problem at all. So I'm going to go through the pictures because they're all so adorable. This is one of my favourites. This is Knit to Fit. And uh, two of my favourite things. Well, I used to do a lot of knitting and crochet um, before I got really bad carpal tunnel in my wrist. Now I can't do it, otherwise the pain symptoms come back. Uh, so that's why I started colouring and... So I love bunny rabbits, like I said, and so this is like, this is really, really me to a T. I just absolutely love this image. Um, this is one of the images that made me buy this book. And I'm probably going to photocopy a few of these pages before I colour them um, to make... Um, Perhaps some um, of the smaller images I could make, like this one, I could make some, uh, I'm thinking of greeting cards, that's what I'm trying to say, <laughs> I'm trying, trying to get it out there. I thought I could, these would make beautiful greeting card type pictures. Um, so this is Buzzy Bee Friends, so the sort of bunnies that are bees. I mean, this is so adorable. You cannot get cuter than that. So if you're after something very cute, which I was specifically looking for, um, this is the book to get. This one is a beach day for Bumble. So relaxing in the water or the pool there. We've got little fancy pants with her <laughs> dress-up clothes. 
hope you can see this properly because I do have a bit of an issue with the sun at the moment but I'm trying to sort of get it in the right spot so you can see uh, the rockin' rabbit tails so in their little rocking chair so so cute rainy day friends Tubby bunny bath. <laughs> they make me smile and they make me happy looking at these images. So that's what it's all about. Every bunny needs a blankie. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. It reminds me of my daughter. She has still got her blankie. I made her, I made her a um, blankie before she was actually born this is my first um, child and when I made it I had no idea that she would become so attached to this blankie and it was kind of um, it had the front and then lining and then the back kind of like a quilt and um, now all that's left of it is the backing fabric and all the rest is gone and it's about quarter of the size and Every once a year I manage to sneak it away so I can actually wash it and it smells really bad but that's the way she likes it and it's just, <laughs> it's terrible but she still has this, this, this blanket after all these years. Uh, this is a bushful for Bunny, so the Bunny's eating the apples there. And Rising Rabbit. Sleepy Head with his little bottle. A basket full of bunny. Easter one. Yarn Biting Bunny. So this little bunny is trying to bite through. <laughs> It's gorgeous. Look at that. You can, I mean, if these images don't put a smile on your face, I mean, they're so, so cute. Bouncing baby bunny. Crafty critters. Again, kind of like an Easter egg one. Hopping happy hoppers. Bouncing on the bed there. Cross my heart, a bit of cross stitch there. That's another craft that I have done in my past. So really loving that one. Some Barney loves you. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. Some Barney loves you. That is gorgeous. I could make that as a Valentine's card for my husband. <laughs> so cute. Baby bunny buggy. And that was the last one. So they're really, really adorable. Um, it's from the housemouse.com. It's got on the on the back, and that the coloring book is for personal use only. Um, yeah, and I highly recommend this if you like cute type pictures, something that's not too overwhelming. Uh, just a really cute book. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. Have a great day. Happy coloring. Bye.